Today on Suncoast View, is it okay to close the Sunshine Skyway Bridge for a charity race? We'll discuss, plus Apple races to get out new technology. Pop the Popcorn summer blockbusters are heating up with female action heroes and super assassins. Our resident movie guide tell us which films we want to see and which to skip. Looking shiny and sweaty is just a part of summer on the Sun Coast, but it doesn't have to be that way. Our beauty expert is here with a sensational summer skincare line. All that and more right now on Sun Coast View. Welcome to the show, and welcome back to our good friend, celebrity makeup artist, Mickey yes. Williams. Hey. Hey, I missed you guys. It's been a welcome while. Welcome back to town. It really has. And what, I mean, you're sitting here on set with a pillow. <laughs> it doesn't look like a lot going on over here. It doesn't look like an elective surgery. Well, I tried to have it raised <laughs> up, the set that is, for arm comfort, but they said not for just a week. So this is only a week, and it'll all be fine. It was elective, uh. but only if you wanted to move your arm. Correct. You didn't really <laughs> have to have it. You didn't have to, you don't have to fix an injury, but you have to live with it. So I decided mm -hmm. I would rather fix an in injury than live with it forever. Yes, so absolutely. That arm is important. It is good to have two arms. So, so we can now climb a, a rock wall. Oh, you just wait. Next time a rock wall or anything like that is here, I have two arms and I am taking you on. Isn't that Ooh. what happened climbing a rock wall? No, it did not happen climbing a rock wall. It did happen kickboxing, though. So I'm going to be exercising. It's not all it's cracked up to be. Okay. Kickboxing. <laughs> you injured your arm kickboxing. Well, yeah, you use your arms too. Yeah. You use your arms That's too, why I so. don't kickbox. It's dangerous. That's exactly <laughs> right. Well, I have a fun girl power shout out okay. that I think Mickey will appreciate because I know you spent some time at the University of Florida. Five hours and 17 innings of softball last night. The University of Florida is playing in the Women's College World Championship Series. It took 17 innings. Now, sadly, the top-ranked Gators lost 7-5 to five at the end. It is a best-of-three series, so no worries there. But can I tell you what made me so happy? First of all, that these girls can battle it out for five hours. Yeah, on ESPN. Said, I'm tired. <laughs> but listen, my little boys, my young baseball boys, were all sitting on the couch glued to this game yeah, really? and they thought it was so cool that those girls were just going at it and smacking home runs and they were like was she out was she safe and I thought you know what they don't even care that those are girls that absolutely watch it. I think yes. it's even harder for girls come on like we they're on TV now I won the World Series when I was in Little League by the way oh, I just let you know so that <laughs> and our coaches were really tough like we, it was really a lot of training and the boys always got like the, the coverage of the news they got everything and we had to call like I was in Tampa Tribune to be like, hey, we're coming in and we're gonna we're gonna do a little ceremony. And we actually had media, and we thought that was the biggest thing. I mean, this was a long time ago, and things have really changed. But those right. girls are working hard. And seven, 17 innings. Seventeen yeah, innings. That's I crazy. am so proud of Isn't my little Gator. I know. I'm so that's I got exciting. chills. <laughs> it's like so good. So you go, all girls. Right. We'll pull in for they you. They are Gators. And they're not right, Bo Beth. They're also girls. Got to be a girl first. Worry about no the gator first. second. Oh, no. Well, whoa. No blood in here. I am oh, a I'm a gator. Coming. I sent a gator to law school. <laughs> there then, you so go. I qualify. And I'm just glad the girls are doing their job. So congrats to them. We wish them the best of luck. They do need to win the next two games to bring home the championship. We have a new friend in the kitchen today. I want to welcome Ryan Ward joining us from Currents Restaurant at the Hyatt Regency. Welcome. Oh, thanks, ladies. What uh, are we hi, making hi. today? So we're going to be making a chicken scallopini. So it's my favorite dish. Uh, it's it's on the the menu right now. Um, when I first moved here, I stayed in the hotel, and this is the number one dish that I've had, you know, Since probably then. three times a week. It's so. your go-to. <laughs> All right, yeah. you know what? And you're Can't always supposed enough. to ask the chef what's their favorite dish on the mm -hmm. menu. So we're glad that Ryan is sharing with us. And I love the fact, and we probably need to remember more that many of the hotels in our area have great restaurants and you don't have to be a hotel guest to enjoy them That's so true. that you can pop by the Hyatt enjoy their wonderful scenery and apparently their chicken scallopino is going to be pretty good too <laughs> so we will look forward to that all right Mickey I know you would have appreciated this and I was actually out with my surgery when you girls talked about it but we talked about this whole bro romper theme I don't know if you're seeing them walking around the streets in New York I certainly hope not but yes. have you mm -hmm. they're big in New which York? ones are we talking about there's so many different versions well of the bro we're gonna romper. take a look okay. at a version and our friends the Holderness family decided to give it a try. Oh, no. Check it out. Kim Dean. <laughs> There's no way. This is so small. There is like a full on <laughs> issue down there. This is not an XL. Who 
Because it's not, like, I can't get my chest closed. Beauty <laughs> is pain. You look great. Looks great from behind. Does not look great from any direction. Hey, Pen Charles, come here. That looks terrifying. <laughs> Oh, how cute. Nope. And then he heads out. I mean, he's got a nice body. It's yeah. not like the most frightening thing you've ever seen, but <laughs> I think it must be cut shorter in the, uh, you know. It looks too small for him. Yeah, he does I think not look that's the problem. I mean, you know, as with girls, if you put on a romper and your torso is just not the right length, I mean, it feels the same exact way, except they have to do a little bit more situating. But look at how everyone is looking at him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh that's gosh. So there's been some that said it feels and looks like a UPS driver. Oh, that's right. It's like a UPS driver uniform. Yeah, but theirs are two pieces. They don't wear a romper. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've seen I feel overalls. like I've seen workers I've seen... wear something like this before. That's a very Brooklyn look right there. That's a what I'm going to say. Look. Yeah. Here's how I'm going to say At least they don't have to take it off to pee. Like, oh, my God. We have to get totally naked in a romper to go to the bathroom. That is the worst decision. When I was coming back from out of town, I actually wore a leotard. Over on the airplane? I know. <laughs> and I'm like in this little thing, and I'm like, how is this going to work? I just gave I, up. This is a woman who wore six, eight inch heels to Disney, of Very course. Not, not but practical. you can still go to the bathroom in those. Yeah, <laughs> practical at all. It's like body suits are coming back, and I remember those for college. Those it's were a bad choice practical. in the bathroom. Of course, know. Kim Holden is his wife, used to work here at ABC7. She's from Sarasota and Manatee County, so we're very proud of her. That's right. Yeah. They put together some great videos, but I think we're, I think we're not into the romper trend. I think we're over for I mean, for. as long as it fits a little bit better than that one, I'm all right with it. <laughs> awesome. I mean. The bottom didn't. <laughs> yeah, a little scary there. All right, it is time for our first hot topic. And should the Sunshine Skyway Bridge close to all traffic for a half marathon? So the proposal would be to run a race from St. Petersburg into Palmetto across the bridge on New Year's Day. Race organizers say this is the lowest traffic day of the year on the bridge. It would be from 6 to 9 a.m. It would end up impacting about 1,000 vehicles. This race would raise money for various Suncoast charities, and as of now, they're waiting for Manatee County and the edges of the bridge communities to sign off on this. What do you think? Is this a fair inconvenience to drivers? No. No, and I, I ran the New York City Marathon, and we shut down the Verrazano, and we shut it down one way. Why can't they just shut it down one way? Mm, that's an interesting I mean, point. that's what you do, and then they have police monitoring, which they're going to have to have anyway, so they just have two lanes of traffic, one, two going this way and two going that way, just like they, people have to get into the New York City in the mornings on, from Jersey. A, I think that's a good idea, but... My, the other side of it is that bridge is always shut down. So what's the difference? <laughs> I agree. I agree. But it makes you so I mean, mad. But on any given day, that bridge is shut down for right. multiple hours. People are inconvenienced. Fog, so what's wind. another? So yep. what's another three And hours? who's really going to be out really true, at yeah. 6 a.m. Oh, on New Year's Day? You may have somebody, someplace very important to go. Yeah, but I don't think go it's another fair way? to You can take the candy and go yeah. Well, they I can mean. run another way. You can run <laughs> anyway. <laughs> You That's can put true. the marathon anyway. You can't move the bridge. See, I'm with Bobeth. That bridge shuts it's down often enough that if you travel it routinely, as both Mickey You're and I do, you know that there's just another way you may have to go. Yeah, yeah especially. So. But it's a long way away, right? It is out of the I way. I mean, it's an extra way 10 way. minutes for me, for oh. me, and I have to go through Tampa. So right. that's just an extra 10 minutes for me. It's not that dramatic. But I mean, if it, there's like a truck fire, I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, you know? no, exactly. There's no other way. Have truck fire. They or a charity. Well, and now you see the discussion that's playing out at City Council. Because not everyone have to agrees. Go over the bridge, you can go anywhere. <laughs> All right. You can't run across the water. It's a, it's a go, cool the view. Beach. It's a cool <laughs> view. All right. Woo, they fired up on that. Changes are coming to your Apple devices. One is great for driving safety. iOS 11 will feature a do not disturb I'm driving mode that can be turned on. Then people get alerted that you'll contact them when you get where you're going. Apple's also creating their own smart speaker competitor to Amazon's Alexa. It is called the Home pod. Siri and other Apple services will then get connected to that, but not all of Apple's new stuff is in competition with Amazon. Apple TV is actually going to introduce amazing video streaming as a new option with Amazon products along with Netflix and HBO. I like the fact that there, all those streaming options will be on one TV. Because then you don't have to have Apple TV in one room and your Amazon Fire connects in another room and all I'm that. I'm shocked that Apple's playing with other kids in the, you I know, agree. Like the I, playground. I wonder if they realize they have to. But I have well, to I say. think they do because it's getting to the point, like for right now, I have both the Google Home and I have the Alexa, but none of them will work with my Apple phone. I have to w use my work phone, which is a, um, a, um, an Android, to get the, to work. But right. why do you need it to work with your phone? 
Well, because it's an app that kind of controls everything. Because she could tell uh, her phone to make it do something, but she can't tell her Apple phone to tell Alexa to do something, yeah. right? I or have she could turn Alexa, that light on you yourself. Could get an app. <laughs> it depends what you want to do. Yes, or I could turn the light on Or you on could myself. get up and change the music on the LP. I just got, I just <laughs> got you, Alexa. I got her last week. Do you I like her? I now want to put Alexa in my car because Siri sucks. I'm sorry. She Alexa really does. Woo, Apple like, haters. I don't. I love Alexa's Apple, good. but Siri is just... But Alexa, Alexa is a stalker like, also. She's like... So a know. life changing <laughs> device and Siri is just like no I did not say that no I did Alexa like Alexa what's my morning news briefing Alexa and she works with so many different apps she wakes me up kindly she doesn't wake me up like Siri. well and Siri is supposed to be changing that is definitely part of the because rollout they're talking to. about I want to get an echo mm -hmm. I want to get one of those little Alexa dots for my car I, do. I, that's I, I don't know how that's going to work. What does it do work? that you need it to do? Just talk and like tell me what the news is. <laughs> I don't want to I friend. basically have to, I have to stop listening to NPR for hours and hours and hours. You I have to just friend? get a news briefing. I don't want a friend. I don't know, but Alexa's so great. Like when you're cooking, you ask her, hey, can you make this conversion? She does it. Well, how long do I leave zucchini in? Okay. I'm talk. starting to think I could use one of these. Because I've been no, like she... Linda. I just look everything up. But Googling no, while you're Stephanie, cooking on an iPad and an iPhone Stephanie, is annoying. this is life-changing well, for you. Oh, my goodness. Especially with one arm. If you're making <laughs> yeah. lean cuisine, does Alexa have an arm? Box to see how you know what? But it. the whole thing is you don't have to push down the button for Siri. You right. can just talk. It's voice recognition. And it's amazing. Like you're That's just sitting there. That's why you need to be careful because because I think Alexa is talking to me. Really? <laughs> I mean, just randomly, she'll start talking to you. I'm not talking to her, but she'll start talking to you. <laughs> Maybe you she sure? thinks you need a friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Is, lots of like changes to come. I like that Apple is going to be working with a lot of these other apps. That's I think it'll help. purpose of the conversation. We really <laughs> went off target. All right. Well, getting accepted into Harvard is a big deal. So imagine having it rescinded over Internet memes in a Facebook chat group. Ten prospective Harvard students are being told they are not welcome after they got inappropriate on a set up Facebook group. So apparently the group got set up to encourage relationships and exchange memes between incoming students. Well, you know how this goes. A subgroup developed and the memes turned inappropriate very inappropriate, sexually and racially discriminating. Is it scary that kids are being tracked this closely by schools, or is it more scary that kids can't behave? It's more scary that kids can't behave. Have you heard some of those things they were saying? I have. Some, what, what is that thing you knock down at birthday parties? A pinata. Pinata. One of them was a picture of a dead Mexican baby, and it said, oh, this will make a great pinata yeah. for horrible. birthday parties. Horrible. 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 I mean, These are horrible yeah. things. They were saying horrible uh, things. Yeah. I mean, not, I'm not disputing the, the fact that they're saying horrible things, but this isn't anything new. Let's no. be re reality <laughs> is this has been going on for ages. Kids have been behaving this way, saying inappropriate things, and these kids then develop into adults that continue the same mm -hmm. kind of belief mm -hmm. and same kind of behavior. So I'm not surprised that it's happening. What I'm surprised about is that the school has taken the stance. Yeah, because I have many times, Harvard. And I, many times people let those things go. I yeah. have to say, but though, it is not easy to get into Harvard. We all agree that, right? Mm -hmm. And all of these preparatory classes have to be done ahead of time. And people that I know whose kids have gotten accepted into Harvard, they are told from the very beginning your social media is monitored. Mm -hmm. All of this is monitored. This will affect you. and they, this is like five, ten years now they've been told what you put on social media will affect we'll you. Be very, very but careful. But they still don't get it. It is my number well, one fear. Uh -huh. It is my number one fear as a teenage mom with both kids headed to college. What you do for the next four and five years will haunt you, yes. haunt you, haunt you. And this you know what? You can regret. tell them over and over and over, but they're teenagers. They don't get it. They have to yeah. learn it themselves. They have I to learn. feel bad for these kids because this is a lesson they're not ever going to get that but out it's a kind good of opportunity lesson. again. Uh -huh. it's a good they're lesson. going to remember this for the rest of their lives. Well, you know, there are a lot of things like that, like getting pregnant when you're a teenager. Absolutely. You know, a lot of things, decisions you make then last forever. Yep. Yes. Yeah, that <laughs> yes, is a good Linda. one. All right, so the latest. Full of good advice today. <laughs> the latest beauty trend is as simple as a stamp. But do you want one on your forehead? They're called eyebrow stamps, and they're going viral with makeup artists. Instead of drawing eyebrows on every morning, yours could just come pre-packaged, and they'd be the same way every single day. But warning, the results may vary. Have you seen these in action, Nikki? No, I've seen, I've seen stencils in action. I mean, 
we used to do this when airbrushes first came out. We would use a stencil and just spray on an eyebrow. So it's the exact same thing, but like you, you, it's really funny to see yourself with like all these different types of eyebrows. This is a really like lazy, easy way. Yeah. I don't think any real true artist is going to be using this. It's like and press on eyebrows. And now with everything, you have to idea. understand like eyebrow, pow these eyebrow powders now come with like fibers to where you can make them look like hair. That's really the art behind makeup is when you can make something look real. And there's nothing that I've seen. Even <laughs> Well, with a stencil when you airbrush it on doesn't See, look you're real. taking it to another level. You're talking about you as an artist and a couple of your people. We're talking about amateurs like us. <laughs> our she's saying you shouldn't do Next that. Next thing you know, we yeah. have unibrow. She's saying it isn't going to look good. No, That's what she's saying. It's not going to look real. And it, it basically, what is it made out of? Like, just use a wax. You know what I mean? It's gonna, a wax is gonna stay on your skin. It's not gonna get absorbed. All right, big That's thumbs weird. down from the celebrity makeup artist don't here. Do don't do it. Don't do it. No <laughs> eyebrow stamps. All right, when we come back, we are gonna work on something artistic, though. We're gonna get a lesson in print making with Ringling. Stay with us. Good afternoon. Lots of rain today as a result of tropical moisture moving in from the Gulf of Mexico. You can see that action. Uh, no severe weather reported, but boy, some heavy downpours at times, some lightning strikes uh, occasionally. We had a couple of water spots over the past couple of days sighted as well. Uh, what's going on now is some light rain is returning into Manatee County. We have also light rain now into North Sarasota. Still heavy, though, down south near Inglewood and near North Northport. But you can see uh, showers have really started to taper off into Manatee County and North Sarasota. I mentioned the heavier weather down south. Just one lone shower there east of Sarasota with a uh, strong lightning that we saw earlier. No shear going on. We had some shear earlier right there at around 46, 48 miles an hour. The lightning has shifted to the east right now. And you can see a lot more rain in the Gulf. And it looks as though we're not out of the woods yet. Uh, we're going to get more rain. And the rain chance is staying high throughout the day on Wednesday at 80%. It's not all day rain, but we'll have more coming up at 5. See you then. Summer is the perfect time to try something new, and it's never too late to cultivate a new art skill. Ringling College is helping us to engage our inner artist as part of the Summer Studio 2017. Summer Suncoast artist and Booker High School teacher Jeff Cornwell is here to teach us how to, to do it. Jeff, you've been teaching there for 19 years. Correct. This may be the yes. hardest you've ever project you've ever taken on. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge, but I'll be able to manage it. Yeah, like I heard about you guys. What yeah, is Summer Studio? Uh, it's a program for continuing studies. We have a teen program, an adult program, and tweens in between. Ah, so, so you're going to teach us to print. That's one class basic, you can take? Yes, yes. There is a workshop, print workshop, that's uh, three days over the July 4th weekend. Hmm. Uh, so it's a full day worth of printmaking, which is really fun. I have a good time. And then what other types of classes are offered throughout the summer program? There is uh, any, anywhere from writing for films to digital Photoshop to traditional arts. You name it, we have it. Oh, That's wow. There. And oh, we're those looking at some are very awesome. Cool yeah. Look at that tiger. Well, can you show us how to do that? Uh, that was a linoleum cut print. I didn't want to bring sharp objects from this show. <laughs> <laughs> bad idea. Probably a good choice. Uh, you guys? Okay, All right, so, so, what's how? so this enjoy? is a basic mono print, uh -huh. and I pre inked the plates so you don't get, um, it takes a little bit of time to uh -huh. do that. Okay. But I, basic Q tips. Uh -huh. um, and what I like to do is just start okay. with pulling the ink out off of the plate. So this is, this is an actual plate? This is an actual um, plexiglass plate okay. that I've prepared with water based inks with a retarder. Okay. So the ink does not dry really fast, and you're welcome to do any kind of Design? Design. Oh, we're, we're not, we're not copying anything yes. This will be our print. This is just, yeah, whatever um, your imagination we're a lets you go. We're just making go a with print. It. Okay. So um, I also like to sometimes just take that off. And I'll just quickly scribble. All right, we're deep in work here. There you go. So, yeah, so it also is uh, very messy, which is why you have those gloves on. Why you like it, on, yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, that's true. I mean, I'm an artist. I do like to throw paint around. We all need to get messy sometimes. Now, you said this is a tween class. Do they... Um, actually, this, yes, this is a, a teenager class. A teenager class. class? Yes. Okay, now, do they have, like, a theme, like animals, or... No, it's... What we do is try to develop uh, your own imagination or oh, reference okay. using references. So more original works to create with students. In you my mind, that's harder. For yes. older people like me? Oh, he created yes, a Yes, we really do. Nice we actually uh, have adult classes. There's a lot of uh, 
well, tweens and adult classes, and they get to photography, Photoshop. There's a lot of different varieties of. Well, and this is one of those things, especially as the mom of teenagers, you know, I'm not going to have the plexiglass, the ink, all that yeah. kind of thing well, to do at home. Every class has a supply list. Mm -hmm. Most instructors are required to fill that out, and uh, we try to keep it at a minimum for cost. Um, and so then they go and purchase the materials and come to class prepared. And the classes are half days, so oh, it can okay. either be in the morning or it can be in the afternoon depending on what class that you're wanting to sign up for. So what happens next? Because so, I drew a very here we go. simple. So here okay. is uh, two kinds of paper. You can use whichever one you want. There's two sides to each paper. One is a little rough uh -huh. and one so is Mickey, a little I'll smooth. Give you one and I put it and on. what we do is you lay it down on the smooth side. How can you tell when you have gloves on? Yeah, I know. Okay. Well, that's why I don't wear gloves, actually, oh, so to on be honest. The smooth side down? Smooth, smooth side, side down. down. And matters. then what we do, and this is very basic, sometimes we use a press, but I've got these little uh, wood pieces here for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do is take that and run it through and over the back of like it. Like this? Just yes. Just keep it flat, though. And I like to, I also have a brayer that I oh, use. Oh, yeah, you got a nicer one. Do you use a lot of Sorry. pressure? Or just yes. Okay. As nice, even pressure. Keep it flat. Nice, even pressure. And if you've done that, uh -huh. and you've gone from corner to corner and all the way around. <laughs> um, <laughs> He's laughing at my friend. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you just pull the plate. This is a great just video. Just pull the paper. Oh, wow. his is nice. And that's called a monoprint. Oh, wow. Hold oh, that. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, you guys are oh, so, so talented. Oh, right. You must Art's be. Art's a great thing. It makes you feel <laughs> oh, good. Oh, that was really fun. <laughs> you can use this in your class as an example if I, you'd like. I would be happy to. Yeah. Thank you. And these classes like are going to be from <laughs> June 12th through July 28th. You can go to the Ringling website for more information. This is so much fun. Thank you so much. Next, Mickey has Summer Sun Help Our Skin. Yep. I want to look like this, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> a promise was made. A promise that hit the beaches of Normandy. A vow that captured Iwo Jima. A contract that weathered Tet. A pledge that stormed the desert in Iraq. An IOU that braved IEDs in Kandahar. A promise was made to America's veterans. DAV fights to keep that promise, so all veterans and their families get the benefits and support they earn. For help, visit DAV.org. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I'm creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. Since 2014, Addiction Hope and Helpline has answered calls for recovery and treatment 24-7, 365 days a year. If you're depressed, drinking, using drugs, or taking pills, call now and talk to someone who cares. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Most insurance covers substance abuse. You can get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven general recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call 800-622-1941. 800-622-1941. Get ready for the most hair-raising event of the summer. Feld Entertainment and the Ringling Museum present International Circus Superstar Bello Knox in Incredibello, a gravity-defying, laughter-inducing, super stunt performance live at the historic Oslo Theater. Don't miss out on the must-see event of the summer, Incredibello, playing June 13th through July 29th. For tickets, visit ringling.org today. Keep up with your investments in market trends by watching the ABC7 Stock Report. Get a recap of all the day's stock market activity. Be sure to watch your Suncoast News at 6 for the ABC7 Stock Report, sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. 
So Florida's summer sun, when it isn't raining, is not kind to our skin. And many of us battle the shine all day, every day with the humidity. Beauty editor Mickey Williams brought us some summer skin solutions today. Tell us about this Neostrata three-step regimen. You said it's perfect for oily skin. Yes, and I think that that's, uh, first of all, you guys know how much I love Neostrata. I brought it on several times because they do have all of these great, like, kind of glycolic acids. They have mandelic acids. And what they do is they really repair the skin. So imagine if you have oily skin, right? you're told not to put anything on it. Mm -hmm. People get really worried about putting a sunscreen on their skin because they feel like it makes them oilier. So introducing Neostrata Refine, it's just a simple three-step regimen. What's great about it, first off, is you start off with the cleanser. And how that works is basically, you, you know, you do it twice a day. It's going to wash away any kind of excess oil, problematic bacteria, as well as, as it's going to exfoliate and improve your skin. Again, it has that gluconolactone, salicylic acids, and mandelic acids in there. It's going to improve uh, skin texture, but it's also wow. exfoliating, which is important because when you have oily skin, you tend to get a very, like a nice layer of dead skin on top. Mm. So instead of just kind of gently, we're going to go ahead and take away that bacteria and also wash that skin, helping it improve. I've and got that. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking better, Mickey. I'm, I can see me improving. But you know, here. people really worry about bacteria because when they put all these products on their skin, this is a cleanser, Linza. We're gonna have to wash her down after this with a with a sponge bath. But it's nice and lightweight, as you can see. It's gonna it take is. away that kind of excess bacteria. But with all those different kinds of formulas, with that mandelic acid, that salicylic acid, it's gonna work on those future breakouts. But it's also gonna prep the skin for your next step. That's really good. The next step that we're looking at right here, though, is an incredible thing. Now, what if I told you there's actually an oil control gel in the line? That's oh, wow. to like Something prevents that, the oil from coming uh -huh. out. So when it actually gets really, really hot out, we produce more oil. And when we put stuff on our skin, sometimes our skin battles that, right? Mm -hmm. This product is amazing. It stops shine in its tracks. It's really incredible because you apply it daily, and it's going to step up kind of your matte game. It's got this velvety finish, and it has 77% of users reported reduced oil, minimized shine, is that what smaller I in front pores of me? Oh, in yeah. four weeks. But Beth, I thought this product was genius for you because you always complain about you know the oil. You have oily skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then you have to put all this makeup on over it. It's a lightweight facial gel. It creates this velvety matte finish, Babette, that you're just going to absolutely love. So is this under makeup? Yes, this is your three this steps. Would go yes. All under makeup. Mm -hmm. wow. this is, well, this it has you wash the, off. Yeah, well, yeah the right. cleanser you wash off. Linda's just going to be. It has that gluconolactone and that mandelic acid, and it's going to also provide anti aging benefits. And it's going to ha it has vitamins H, B3, B6 to it's soothe the skin. Yes, I can. It's absolutely. I thought this would be your favorite product ever. And then the most important part around here is sunscreen, which yes. those of us with oily skin are deathly afraid of. Exactly. <laughs> and what I love about this product is, again, it has that whole backing of the Neostrata where it's actually skin care built into the sunscreen and what's amazing about this product is look at these before and afters I want to show you this product and how it works so basically you can see the dark spots on the nose what oh, this yeah. product does this is their sheer hydration SPF 35 each morning you're going to put this on to help control and reduce oiliness but you're also going to provide protection broad spectrum protection it's going to actually has that neoglucosamine it's clinically proven to reduce the appearance of dark spots it's wow. going to even out your skin tone and it has broad spectrum UVA and UV Beep protection. Now, that's SPF 35, ladies. Oh, so, I love right. that one. Yeah, that this is really great. Good. This is summer skin help for oily skin, which, as we know, in our heat and humidity can be a problem. You can get more information at Neostrata.com. All right. Thank you, Mickey. Yeah. Great information. Enjoy. And coming up next, a summer movie preview with our movie guy. Stay with us. Need more space in your place? The More Space Place can help. With Murphy beds that disappear to reveal a home office, living room, or den. Custom closets with designated areas for your shoes, bags, wardrobe, and accessories. Custom built entertainment centers, garage storage systems, and more. The More Space Place has three showrooms next to Sunny's on US 41 South in Sarasota, on Lakewood Ranch Boulevard just south of State Route 64 in Bradenton, and on Tamiami Trail next to Panera Bread in Port Charlotte. Put more space in your place at the More Space Place. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? 
you need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second Spin Mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now, make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. Welcome back to Suncoast View. We're going to check back in with Chef Ryan from Currents Restaurant at the Sarasota Hyatt Regency. Ryan, tell us about all the hiring and the job fair that's going on at the Hyatt coming up. Uh, well, we actually have a lot of job openings right now. So we decided we wanted to have a job fair, which is on June 15th. Um, anybody's welcome to come in, and, and you can actually apply and interview right there at the hotel. Wow. So right. it's, it's pretty interesting. That so is very interesting. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you get to eat chicken scallopini when you work there, I understand, too. Of course. Chef yes. Ryan's <laughs> going to prepare it for us. All right, we'll join you in just a little bit. Bye-bye. Well, summer blockbuster season is upon us, and there's a lot of big names opening on the Sun Coast. And here to tell us all about it, plus what movies we want to stream, is our movie guy, Matt Blydell. All right? Matthew, so we've been sitting here... And we love when you're on, by the way, because oh, you yes. also are, are one of our producers. But mm -hmm. we've been sitting here thinking about it's <laughs> summer, and what are we going to see with the kids? Because everyone's out. What are we going to see with the kids? Um, you that's have a... no kids. No, well, I have family members. <laughs> I'll go with you. I'll be your kid. Okay. okay. Kids or not. Kids or not. Okay, kids, kids or, or not. not. Let, me hit, uh, let me go through kids real quick. Um, uh, Cars 3 is coming out uh, in a week, uh, I think. Not at the end of this week, uh, but the following week. And uh, Despicable Me 3. Mm -hmm. I think those are all the kids' things that are coming out. Younger kids, I yeah. I for younger kids. Yeah. Right, but all anybody's talking about is Wonder Woman. Yeah, so, and I am completely shocked because I don't really care about superhero movies personally. I'm just not really into that. I haven't been for a long time, and I've sort of wondered why that is. And yeah. let's just admit, you're right. a little cynical as a moviegoer, and that's okay. Sure. Because what did you say about this? Did you see it? I saw it on Sunday night, and I actually loved it. Really? Uh, I thought it was fantastic. Uh, the last couple DC movies haven't been all that good. Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, I'm just not into them. And everything I saw this looked like more of the same. And I was just like, well, I don't know, let's see. And then it was getting great reviews, and I'm like, let's give it a chance. It turned out I loved it. It really, it sounds weird, but I haven't felt that excited by a superhero since like wow. Spider-Man. You just needed a, a girl. Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. You needed a girl. Good is there's, that outfit. <laughs> there's something about it from like all the other superheroes like Captain America and stuff. It sounds kind of silly, but they're not really fighting for people. They're just fighting monsters. They're mm -hmm. fighting supervillains mm -hmm. and stuff. And this really changed that. Wonder Woman was fighting for average people and was protecting people and doing all that stuff. 
it was oddly like such like an inspirational kind of experience. Wow, kind of that's a great it. review. It's really great. Yeah. yeah. So I take the totally boys. Yeah. Even if the, sure, the, absolutely. Not a it's, sexist it's thing. Fantastic. Yeah. Does she have a oh, see-through airplane? That. That's my favorite part. She did not have an <laughs> invisible right. jet. No. All right, let's still go see it. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Dunkirk. Yeah, so uh, Dunkirk is going to be coming out in July. It's the new movie uh, from Christopher Nolan, who uh, he actually did a couple DC movies. He did mm. The Dark Knight. He did Inception, Interstellar. This one's a true story. Uh, this is all about the Battle of Dunkirk in uh, the UK mm. and all about a group of soldiers who were stranded on a beach under attack and a group of civilians actually came home uh, to rescue them. And I uh, think so we have a preview of it. Yeah, oh. so let's take a quick look at the trailer. Why waste precious tanks when they can pick us off from the air like fish in a barrel? There are 400,000 men on this beach. Woo! War violence. Yeah, so, yeah. and actually, everything that I've heard is that it's not being treated like a war movie. Oh, They're really? treating this like a sort of survival experience. Uh -huh. It's from the perspective of all different people in the battle. Uh, it's uh, all of the civilians uh, came in uh, uh, by boats uh, to rescue all these people on the beach. So oh. you see their perspective, you see the people being rescued, all these people trapped in the situation, and it's supposed to sort of be like you know, sort of their survival and how they deal with this experience and everything. How normal Together. people can rise to yeah, the occasion. Yeah, definitely. So it's not your average kind of war movie. So a lot of people might be interested in it for that reason. I would mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. it for that reason. Yeah. All right, another one, Rough Night, which sounds like similar to the concept we just heard, but tell us what this Not is. exactly. Rough Night is actually a, a comedy. Bad day. Oh. <laughs> um, Different kind of Rough Night, but bad. Yeah. Uh, so Rough Night is uh, a big ensemble cast uh, with Scarlett Johansson and uh, a couple other people. And uh, it's actually about this uh, group of girls who were, high, uh, who were uh, friends in college and are meeting back 10 years later oh, for a bachelorette party. And uh, they discover that they are not at all the same people uh, mm. from when they last saw each other. So let's take a quick look. Hello? Hey, I am so psyched for your bachelorette weekend. Stop running! We are peaceful protesters. Okay, I gotta head to a bachelorette. Mommy, do you have to go to Miami? I really do. The party starts now. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, we're in bad. an airport. No. Go, go, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to see this with oh, the girls. That's so funny. Yeah. And you know, there hasn't, I feel like there hasn't been like a really good uh, version of this kind of comedy in a while. You right. know, we had like the Hanover, we had Bridesmaids and stuff. Uh, this is from the writers of uh, Broad City, uh, which was that Comedy yeah. Central show. A mm -hmm. lot of the same people involved with that. Uh, Kate McKinnon starring it, um, Alana Gr uh, Glazer, who starred in that show. Um, I feel like this has a pretty good chance of uh, actually being really funny. There's not so. a lot of chick flicks out right now, sure, so it would yeah. be nice to have a girls' night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what else you got for us? Uh, one more that I wanted to talk about, uh, sort of hit something a little more independent, but also definitely thrilling, uh, is The Beguiled. Uh, this is a new movie uh, from Sofia Coppola, uh, daughter to Francis Ford yeah. Coppola. Oh, really? And uh, this uh, was at Cannes recently. Uh, Nicole Kidman is in it. Uh, mm. Colin Farrell and a couple other people. Uh, it's a remake of the same movie uh, by, uh, from Clint Eastwood uh, in the 70s. Uh, Colin Farrell uh, plays a guy who is in uh, poor health and uh, comes upon this Confederate house uh, with all these women and he starts to manipulate them and they start to manipulate him back and things go very wrong from oh. there. Ooh. So it's kind of a fun little thriller. <laughs> it's also independent, a lot of great uh, performances and stuff. Uh, so if you want something a little more serious but you still want kind of that, you know, summer fun, maybe check that out. Mm -hmm. That and sounds very so good. So in addition to what's on screen, there mm -hmm. are things that you can stream at home. Yeah, the beginning of this year, Oddly enough, had so many action movies and so many big blockbuster movies. Still, my favorite movie of the year is Get Out, and that just came out on demand recently. Okay. This was the movie uh, that was directed and written by Jordan Peele from Key and Peele, mm -hmm. uh, and I just thought this movie I was so movie. much fun. Is it I, scary? I loved it. It's scary. It's also really funny. It's, okay. It has so much going for it, and it's so smart how it's written. There's so much going on in it, and okay. for action fans, I'm a little bit of an action fan. Uh, John Wick chapter. 
Doctor Who is great. Uh, the thing that I love about these movies, they're directed by stuntmen. They're oh. not directed by people who are average, uh, you know, directors. These guys know how to do action. So if you want action, maybe don't go to the theater. Maybe stay at home and watch a couple of those get, movies. Yeah, yeah. Good. Oh, get, get out. That. I'm mm -hmm. going to watch that this weekend. I'll call you if it's not good. <laughs> All right. If it's All scary, right. I'm calling you too. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Matt. And next, it's a national holiday that's going to have you going in circles. We'll be right back. ABC 7, your official Florida lottery station for the Sun Coast. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. From our studios on Florida Sun Coast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Hello, I'm Scott Dennis. Here's what's coming up at 5 o'clock. A legal fight over the death penalty is now headed to the Florida Supreme Court. What the justices will decide about the prosecutor at odds with Governor Scott. Plus, more options for paddleboard and kayak rentals on the Sun Coast. Sarasota County agrees to allow rentals at a second public beach area. Now let's get a check on our rainy weather today with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Scott, the drought buster continues here across the entire state for that matter. Some areas near the Everglades and down south uh, near I-75 and Alligator Alley, eight inches plus there today. So more rain is on the way too, although our heavier rain has now pushed well to the south and east of Sarasota and Manatee counties. We still have some moderate to heavier showers scattered about, not nearly as intense as they were. Uh, the strongest cells near Arcadia and uh, south of that. More on the forecast coming up at 5. See you then. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. That is a pretty good breakfast. You're not even eating. Not hungry. No? Why not? What's up? Uh, Kath and I knew that Jenny had been partying a bit. Found out she tried heroin. Most people don't know what to say about drugs, but we do. Visit us at drugfree.org. Attention, Americans eligible for Medicare. Are you getting all the benefits you're entitled to? Did you know there may be money available to lower your medical prescription costs? Call Health Markets and we'll tell you if you qualify. Hi. I'm Dr. Martin Jitsi. It's a new Medicare year. That means more changes and more confusion. The key question is, what can you do now to ensure you get the care you need in the coming year? Call Health Markets today. You may qualify to save money on prescriptions. We'll help you find plans that may cost less, cover more, and could even lower your prescription costs to increase your savings. We help you find all the benefits you're entitled to, and we do it at no cost. Make sure you have what you need to get the care that's right for you. Find out if you qualify to receive extra help with your prescriptions. Call the number on the screen now. Representatives are standing by. Okay, welcome back. Now, back before electronic devices to go over our attention, kids used to play with toys. Toys as simple as a circle with a piece of string. Yo-yos have been around for hundreds of years, but they have gotten a little easier to master. And someone who can take yo-yo to another level is Aaron Cook. So, Aaron, tell me about um, your yo-yo skills. How did you get into it? So, it all started my uh, junior year of high school. Um, talent shows coming up. Um, and me and my friend wanted to find a talent to do. So I went to the local uh, toy store and picked up uh, a Duncan yo-yo, uh, yo the Duncan butterfly. Mm -hmm. And I did that for the talent show. It was something that I really enjoyed learning and doing, and I've stuck with it ever since. Did you win? Um, I did not. Oh. But you kept winning. Right? Hey, it was a good a effort. Career. Yeah. It gave you a whole career. Yeah. Well, you know, yo-yos, is you can do a whole lot of tricks with them. So they're not necessarily just up and down kind of thing. Yeah, no, they're not. The yo-yo was actually um, first, um, the first documented evidence of a yo-yo was 500 B.C. Ooh, in wow, Greece. that's crazy. Um, and it was used as a, a stress relief tool. So oh. um, I guess you could say it's the old-fashioned. It's fashioned, your stress relief. Yeah, it's yeah. the old-fashioned uh, fidget spinner. 
<laughs> yeah, All right, well, I love show that. us some of yeah, your tricks. I can definitely show you a few tricks. So um, there are a lot of different yo-yo tricks. And do you have name? If you have names for them, as you do it, tell yes, us. Yes, yeah. definitely. I'll walk you through them. So a uh, first major category of Ooh. tricks. That's, see, that's why yeah. I got frustrated. That's how you mess up, you got to rewind. I once gave my sister a black eye with a yoga. Yep. <laughs> yoga well, that's yoga. not so positive. So it could be a weapon. It can be dangerous. <laughs> so nuts. the first Ooh, major category that. of tricks is string tricks. So this is the Jamaican flag. Oh, oh I love that. You also have the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh, look at that. Mickey. And it's it just sits there and girl. spins. Oh, my and goodness. And I can yep. hear it. So um, the first thing is you want to th throw down a really hard um, sleep. Uh -huh. um, and then once you have it um, like this, you can do a bunch of tricks off that. So you can do walk the dog. Oh. So when it spins endlessly, it's called a sleep? Yeah, it's called a sleep. So no um, And that's when the yo is sleeping at the bottom before right. you pull it back up. My yo-yo never used no, to turn like that. No, when I tried that, it went across the room. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at no that. No one did it turn So this like one's that. called the brain twister. Amazing. That's when you just spin it around. How fun. And now, was this frustrating for you in the beginning? Because yeah, the thing unrolls endlessly. Right? Yes. The yo-yo. Yeah, and then you have to sit there and back yeah. up. And then you got to bring it back up. You just have to keep trying, huh? And what's that oh, one? Oh, this, this is a um, Cradle the Baby. Oh, <laughs> that's perfect. All right, so those are called yeah. string tricks. <laughs> that's, that's, amazing. that's a downside when you have to roll it back up. Yeah, but he's pretty quick at that. He oh, is. Yeah, so you do you have a special yo-yo? Because I feel like yours is a little um, bit more yeah. advanced. So this is called a butterfly because it has this shape um, that opens up. Yes. Oh, yeah. Um, and this is called Ooh. Um, fly the tramp, the tra trapeze, flying tramp, trapeze. Okay. Um, and yours kind of makes a whizzing sound. Is that because of what it's made out of or just because you're doing it so fast? Um, it has a ceramic bearing, so ah. it's what you would find in skateboards. Oh, okay. so it helps it turn. Yes. It's yes. not yours. It's a high-end yo-yo. Oh, look, oh, look at that. that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wow. This was actually the yo-yo used by the world champion in uh, 2008. Oh, so there's a yo-yo championship. Yep, there oh, it is. Wow. And is this a Duncan yo-yo? No, this is a one made by Yo-Yo Factory. Okay. Um, and it's, it's called the, original. the Genesis. Oh, All right. Wow. Well, today All is right. National Yo-Yo Day. Yes, in case it you is. didn't know, that's yeah. why Linda, we're Linda, you should try to do a trick. Yeah, and while we like to try, try to do a trick, we'll be right back after commercial break. Go ahead, Linda. You go, no, Bobette. I'll, <laughs> I'll give someone a black eye. So, Come on, uh, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, before okay, go ahead. Okay. You, you want to hold it like this. You want to give it a strong throw. Like, throw it as strong as you can. They said strong, and so if I, I hit someone. I'm already into it. You want to finger like this. You want to put it under? All right. And then take it back. All right. So, we'll so many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota Flooring. And for a limited time, Minnesota Flooring is offering you unbelievable pricing on tile and laminate. Porcelain tile, only $1.59. Ceramic tile, 99 cents. And 16 by 16 tile, $1.19. Laminate flooring is only 99 cents. But these prices won't last. Don't miss out on these great deals. Hurry into Minnesota Flooring today. Is your mop a dirty, disgusting mess? You need the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System, the only mop and bucket that spins the dirt away. A system that cleans practically anything and everything with super absorbent microfiber. Dip it in the washer side and the mess releases into the bucket. Then place it in the dryer side and push on the pedal. You get a clean mop head that's practically dry and ready for more. And your hands will never again touch a dirty, disgusting mop. The heads are washable and reusable. Get the Hurricane 360 Spin Mop System for just two payments of $19.99. You'll also get a Sticky Buddy, the reusable sticky roller that picks up pet hair and lint and washes clean in seconds. You can take advantage of our two-for-one pick-it-up special and get a second spin mop set. Just pay additional shipping and fee. And we'll upgrade you to free priority handling. So don't wait. Order now. Call 1-800-394-1524 to get your Hurricane Spin Mop double offer. So hurry and call 1-800-394-1524. Call now. This is an important medical announcement. Xeralto and Pradoxa have been linked to uncontrollable bleeding and even death. If you've been prescribed one of these drugs and have experienced these dangerous side effects, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. 
Studies show that Predoxa can cause more heart attacks than warfarin, and other countries have already issued safety warnings against this drug. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. The call is confidential. There's no cost, and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to Predoxa victims, and thousands of Xarelto victims are filing their legal cases. Call the Drug Watch hotline. If you or a loved one used Xeralto or Pradoxa and experienced uncontrollable bleeding, brain hemorrhage, or even death, you must call now. Call 800-793-6055. 800-793-6055. The official salon of ABC7. Welcome back. Okay, I want to show you my favorite Instagram post of the week. You know you've had these great vacations in life mm -hmm. with the guy you ended up breaking up with? Yes. So then the pictures are trash because this moron's in your pictures. You can Photoshop whoever you want over the ex's face. This girl picks Zac Efron. So she's got these gorgeous photos, and she's adorable, by the way. And now Zac Efron was <laughs> on the trip with her. He got to hike through a jungle. They got to go ride horses on the beach. And she's not mad anymore that the ex ruined her pictures. Oh, oh, and great she idea. snuck a kiss. <laughs> I thought that was the best adorable. post oh, ever. That's my, amazing. That's my great. daughter's first wedding. I love the picture of me and her, but her husband's not anymore. So we could make a big star out of him. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we Turn could, it into something else. Yeah, we could change him every week and find people we like better. That exactly. Would, I'll put that picture so back don't up. waste the old vacation pictures. Just put a new hot star put another in there. person there. And I you're good to go. I already cut the guy out. All right, so. <laughs> or you just physically cut him out. I learned a trick. All right. Okay. Oh. Go Beth Yo-Yos. I'm crossing my fingers. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to the big time yo-yo world. <laughs> the girl can do anything. <laughs> All right, very impressive. We're celebrating National Yo-Yo Day, and we're going to join Current from High Regency Sarasota in the kitchen. Stay with us. Very good. Thank very. You. Check out mysuncoast.com/dining. Your guide to the foodie lifestyle. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. Keep up with your investments in market trends by watching the ABC7 Stock Report. Get a recap of all the day's stock market activity. Be sure to watch your Suncoast News at 6 for the ABC7 Stock Report, sponsored by Sunset Cadillac. From our studios on Florida Suncoast, this is an ABC7 News Update. Good afternoon, I'm Haley Bilkis. Here's what we're working on for 5 o'clock. It's been under construction for around two years now, and now there is a new date for when the Fort Hamer Bridge is expected to open, when you'll be able to drive from Lakewood Ranch to Parrish. And now taking a quick look at Suncoast Traffic Watch, traffic is backed up on I-75 in Manatee County. This is in the northbound lanes from State Road 70, the exit north to State Road 64. Now, let's head over to Bob. Tough driving conditions, uh, Haley, as a result of the heavy rainfall that has been making its way through the sun coast. You can see that line of intense storms now slowly pushing to the southeast. Still, those showers developing in the Gulf of Mexico, not that heavy, uh, moving into Manatee County right now into Sarasota County. Still light to moderate precipitation occurring there. All this pushing off to the east, and it's not over yet. Some areas of Florida have had over eight inches of rain today. Details at five. See you then. BC7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you weeknights at 5. With a top prize of $10 million, the new $10 million world class cash scratch off from the Florida Lottery is your ticket to take on the world. If you get knocked down, stand up again. Rip it up, rip it up again. Give me one chance, give me one chance. I'm not playing with it, baby. Give me one chance, this is my chance. I'm not taking it. The new $10 million. World class cash scratch off from the Florida Lottery. One of our life changing scratch offs offering billions in cash prizes. This is an important medical announcement. Barred IVC filters have been linked to punctured veins and problems with migration. 
Anyone who's received a barred IVC filter must receive medical monitoring and may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you have the Bard Recovery G2 or G2 Express filter, you are in a class of patients who should be compensated for some expenses. Call now for a free assessment of your case and potential money damages. This call is confidential. There's no cost and you may be eligible. Juries have awarded millions of dollars to people who should have been warned about the risks of the Bard IVC filters. Call the IVC filter hotline if you or a loved one has received an IVC filter and experienced a vein puncture or required medical monitoring. You must call now. Call 800-329-3089. 800-329-3089. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service they sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. This is your brain, this is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Um, yeah, I have questions. Prescription drugs aren't as bad as street drugs, right? Weed's legal, isn't it? Drinking is worse than smoking weed. Isn't it? Why it is heroin, heroin so, so addictive? Molly just makes you feel happy. I have questions. Mom? Dad, did you ever try drugs? They're going to ask. Be ready. Go to drugfree.org. A message from Partnership for Drug-Free Kids. Coming up Wednesday at 4 on Suncoast View. Hey, men, would you like to feel 20 again, even if you are not? Dr. Fred Harvey is here to tell us how we can get our men the help they need to look and feel better at any age. Tai Chi is great for stress relief. We'll learn some poses, plus smart summer skin care custom made for your face. And Chef Judy brings the best to savor Sarasota to the kitchen. Welcome back. We're here with Chef Ryan from Currents Restaurant, and it smells so amazing, and you brought us wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what are we making? Uh, well, first I want to introduce our wine. So this is a canvas wine. You can only get it at the Hyatt. Mm. Oh. Um, so we have two different types. We have a Merlot, uh, and we also have a Chardonnay. Mm. Merlot, Merlot the Chardonnay. Chardonnay. Chardonnay is very oaky. <laughs> I like nice. it. I'm modeling the wine. <laughs> She's our, our resident model. So. Mm. As I said earlier, we're, we're making a chicken scallopini, so we mm -hmm. need to do a, a couple of prep items first. Uh, so, Bobette, if you want to crack those eggs, uh, we're going to no, actually... <laughs> <laughs> Just whack it, girl. We're, we're going to uh, dip it's not our, the our yo -yo. chicken breast in there, and then we're going to bread it with the flour. Okay. And I'm going to cut the shallot over mm -hmm. here? So you're going to cut the oh, shallot, you're going to mince it. Here, let the me whole thing. <laughs> with yep, my one arm. Do the whole thing. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That's okay. not easy with gloves. I know. I just realized that. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, Look I am impressed. That. Chef Mickey. You're so. used to date a chef. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I did, actually. What happened, I, David? Chef. <laughs> <laughs> so in the recipe, we have uh, a polenta cake. We don't have enough time to make that here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show how to make polenta, and then I'm going to sear a polenta cake that I've already prepared. Okay. okay. So, so polenta looks like a cornmeal. Yes. Okay. So that's right here. And if you actually, do you want to make the polenta for me? Sure. Okay. I'm going to scoot behind you. So I pour it in? Do about half of that in there. Okay. Okay. And, and then you have to whisk it. Okay. Or else it's going to clump on you. Okay. Okay. Well, Beth is absolutely killing this chicken. You're doing good, Mickey. You're doing Thank good. you. No fingers in that yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so when you make scallopini, those are very thinly sliced breasts. Did you cut them like that or did you pound them? Uh, we cut them like this. Okay, so. so they're not pounded. They're just very thin. You can pound it, but you don't have to. Um, I prefer to slice it. That way you don't... Um, break up the... You, you don't break up the protein there. Yeah. Okay, my polenta is very bubbly. Is that okay? Yes, that's that's actually perfect. So what we're going to oh, do now? Wow. So we're going to turn this off. Okay. Because what's going to happen is going to create little volcanoes inside there, and oh. the polenta is going to actually pop out and jump on your skin. So. Oh, well, then I think I'm. What? I don't want that problem. I got a lot of problems. That sounds great. <laughs> All right, so we're doing like a pan fry of the chicken. How much? You don't have a lot of depth of oil in there, but maybe a half inch or so. Yeah, about a half an inch. So. You don't really need to deep fry this. Uh, we want to pan fry. We want a nice brown color on it. 
Uh, that should be enough, Bobette. Okay. We have, unless you want to eat more. He's like, well, we stop. like to eat. Keep her going. <laughs> so wait, there's something in this flour though, because it's not just flour. I see little black spots. So I have know. cracked black, black pepper and mm. uh, sea salt in there. Oh, How's salt. my mincing going? Your mincing is going great. Let's put it right in this pan here. All right, I like the sizzle. There we go. So we're also going to add our minced garlic, which is right here. Okay. And then our pancetta. Can I just bring? That's a lot of garlic. Oh yeah. yeah. I like this. And our capers. Yep, capers right inside. And our bon chana. Yep. Look at that. So beautiful. Do you ladies know what pancetta is? Yes. No. It's like yeah. pork, isn't it? So it's Italian for fancy bacon. Oh, okay. Fancy Thick. bacon. So we're going to let that simmer a little bit. That and we'll come back good. to that. Should I stir it? Uh, well, you gotta let it sit just a little okay. bit, let it Crispy caramelize. It. All right. So what we're gonna do now, since you still have gloves on, we're going to take one of these polenta cakes here, and we're gonna sear it right in this pan over here. Oh wow! Uh oh, be careful! Don't All slide. right. So lock uh -oh. us into the chicken scallopini at Currents. This is with the Hyatt Regency Sarasota. It is on the menu because Chef Ryan. It's his love favorite. It. And you always ask the chef what he would eat. So yeah. we love the fact that this is what he has made for us. We're going to continue cooking the scallopini and the polenta cakes. And I'm thinking we may start with dessert want. because we and can. Because we can. So they're all pointing at me to hand them some dessert. So key lime pie key going down pie. to Mickey. Woo! I know she was interested. All right, Mickey, great to have you with us today. We will see you tomorrow I to talk wait. about custom made skin pair. Chef Ryan did a great job and it smells phenomenal. So keep well, cooking because we are going to keep eating. Well, right. <laughs> and we will see you very soon. Everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Be sure to take some time and enjoy the Suncoast view.